In this, we are going to solve a nice exponential equation. We have exponents on one side and a number on the other side. So we have 5x, 5 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x equals to 16. I know at this point, uh, mostly all of you might have figured out what the answer is. But it's that is that the answer or the only answer or are there any other solutions to it? So how can we approach to that? So let's do a little bit of manipulation here. Let's start by dividing the left hand side and the right hand side by 5. Dividing by 5 to the power of x. Dividing by 5 to the power of x. So let's divide 5 to the power of x divided by 5 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x by 5 to the power of x equals to 16 over 5 to the power of x. Now here, 5 to the power of x over 5 to the power of x is 1. So 1 minus 3 to the power of x over 5 to the power of x equals to 16 over 5 to the power of x. Now this thing, 3 to the power of x over 5 to the power of x, we can write it as 1 minus 3 over 5 whole to the power of x is equal to 16 over 5 to the power of x. <clears throat> now let's see what does this functions actually depict. Now when you have something like this, this is a base. So whenever you have a function like this y is equal to b to the power of x and if b is less than 1 or it's like b lies between 0 and 1 b lies between 0 and 1 so your function is actually a decreasing function it's a decreasing function all right <clears throat> so this is a decreasing function let's write it as decr and now what about this 5 to the power of x when you have something like this so 5 to the power of x is not equal to 0 because it's in denominator it has to be not equal to 0 now it's never 0 unless x approaches to infinity or negative infinity now if 5 to the power of x is not equal to 0 the function now it's it's like base is 5 b is greater than 1 so it's an increasing function so this function is an increasing function so base is greater than 1, anything greater than 1 to the power of x is an increasing function. So you have increasing function in the denominator, but the whole is reciprocated. So this whole function is a decreasing function. Now this is a decreasing function, this is a decreasing function. <clears throat> if you multiply, uh, this is a decreasing function, if you multiply a decreasing function by negative 1, it is an increasing function like we are negating it or flipping it you can you can even say that so this whole function becomes an increasing function so you have an increasing function on this side and a decreasing function on the other side now let's let's bring it on the other side 3 over 5 to the power of x on this side so we'll have 1 is equal to 3 over 5 to the power of x plus 16 over 5 to the power of x. Now you have two decreasing functions here. This is decreasing function and this is decreasing function. <clears throat> so when you have two decreasing functions, the we get a decreasing function because the derivative of this is negative and derivative of this is negative when you have two negatives when you add up two negatives you get a negative number so that's how you get this whole function as a decreasing function now this is also decreasing function and this side what you have is a constant function this is a constant value constant value one is a constant value it's a constant function 
and this side is a decreasing function so now let's let's try to graph it so one function is a decreasing function and another is a constant value which is y equals to 1 now here if we put x equals to 0 so this will be 1 and this will be 16 so 1 plus 16 will give you 17 so hopefully it starts at uh, the function causes at 17 and it's a decreasing function so it will look like this all right now if x tends to infinity the function is above the x-axis that's how it doesn't reach or touch the zero now let's see the other say uh, constant function y is equal to one let's plot it at y is equal to one so you have a line a constant line where it crosses this is y is equal to one and this is y is equal to three over five to the power of x plus 16 over 5 to the power of x now, as i told you it's a decreasing function it is above x-axis because if x tends to infinity the function tends to infinity where it is above the x-axis and another is in horizontal line y is equal to 1 now this shows that it crosses at only one point so the functions are going to intersect at only one point that's it that means it has only one solution it has only one solution now let's find out this is what we figured out that it has only one solution that's it now let's find out what that solution is so let's write down what our original equation was 5 to the power of x minus 3 to the power of x equals to 16 now let's use trial and error if x equals to 1 5 minus 3 equals to 2 that's not equal to 16 so that's not possible so let's try with x is equal to 2 when you have x equals to 2 5 square is 25 minus 3 square is 9 which is equal to 16 so yes x is equal to 2 is the solution for the equation and the thing is it's the only solution to this equation okay thank you so much for your suggestions in the comments and keep on commenting like that bye bye take care